hey welcome back to the channel today we're going to talk about this trailer this is the the low trail uh, 25 foot tilt back trailer it's a hydraulic tilt back and i get two questions all the time do i like it and would i buy it again well today we're going to try our best to answer that question you know i'm just going to be brutally honest with you all right let's talk about the trailer itself this is a low trail uh trailer it has it's a 25 foot tw true 25 feet long deck the deck flat flat space is 25 feet uh it hydraulically lifts up and down uh now the there's pros and cons to that pros is that you can just back up and load up a um piece of equipment just by you know hydraulically raising the front of the trailer up and the back of the trailer down drive it up on there and set it down i've not found anything uh, all of my tractors are able to drive you put it up there the trailer is absolutely able to pick the tractor back up um, when you're ready to offload it so it's really stout that comes with a price and the price is extra weight so this trailer has two 7500 pound axles under it um, and basically after you subtract the weight of the trailer and you put a little bit of load in the bed of the truck we can we can haul reasonably about 8,000 pounds on the trailer and if this was just a regular trailer with flip down ramps uh we could probably be closer to uh you know 10 or 11 000 pounds this trailer is like 5800 pounds by itself so when you take all these factors and you know safety and all the those factors into account you, we end up with about 8000 8, pounds of usable load on this trailer so this trailer again pros and cons the fact that it is a uh, it hydraulic lifts up and down it when it's in a down position it's basically just a 25 foot long deck over trailer well that's great but there's uh, some drawbacks to it uh also is when you have let's say you put a load of you put a pallet at the front of the trailer and then you have to put your tractor on but then you have to what that means you have to do is you have to strap down the load like the pallet that you just put on uh, and and then raise the trailer up with that pallet on the front drive your tractor up and then let let the whole thing go back down and then when you get to the other end you got to reverse that pro process whereas you have a uh, the rear mounted uh, uh, ramps you just throw the ramps down drive the trailer up on or drive the tractor up on it throw the ramps back on and you don't have to you don't have to worry about lifting that pallet at the front of the trailer up so another, I would say a con to this one is you got the pro that you it hydraulically lifts up down. The con is the fact that it costs more. This this trailer is about uh, at the time of purchase it was about thirty five hundred dollars more than a conventional uh, deck over trailer. The ones with has the the dovetail at the back. It, it was about thirty five hundred dollars more. And I really thought that convenience would be worthwhile, but after seeing some of my friends with the spring-assisted lift rear ramps, I don't think that would be the case. Uh, I don't know that today, I love the trailer. First off, uh, the, the trailer manufacturer makes a great trailer. We've had not one issue. This trailer has been across the United States several times. I don't know how many miles is on it, but we've not had one thing fail, nothing. So still, the additional cost is um, very, very much a concern. One other question I get asked is, can you uh, put a car or uh, on this trailer? Well, I guess you probably could, but the fact of the matter is it is an equipment trailer. And when you have it lifted to the point, the back of the trailer touches the ground, the touches the ground, the angle of attack is so steep that most cars would drag the front bumper to a point that would probably damage it. Um, it's really made for equipment. Uh, it's, it's really made, it's farm oriented, you know, skid steers, uh, tractors, trucks. You know, you can put a half ton or a half ton truck on here pretty reasonably. But um, as far as like, like an automobile, automobile hauler, it's really not meant for that. Another thing is that the trailer, when you lift the trailer up, there's a long extension cord, but it's not long enough that you can like drive it up. What I'm saying is you drive the tractor 
up onto the trailer, you have to lock the brakes down, put all your implements to the floor while it's setting like this, and then get off the tractor, climb down the trailer, and then use the remote or the, the wired remote to lower it back down. So it's almost always easier if Tanya's with me and she does the the, the, uh, the push the button below the trailer. Now, in, in their defense, I have a kit that I, I ended up ordering for it later to put on to let the trailer down uh, with a, just like a little uh, key fob. And um, I've never put it on. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure where it's at. I think it might be in the toolbox of the truck back here. So I probably need to look around and see what, where that is. Put that on. So if you did that, then I could drive up onto the trailer, use the key fob in my hand to lower the trailer back down. And, you know, I really just about, if you're a one person operation, you need to have that key fob uh, because otherwise it, it is fairly dangerous. So with Tanya is always, you know, we're always together. So she generally runs the trailer. She uh, unlatches the front of the trailer and then raises the trailer up. For me, I drive up on it and then she lowers it back down. And while I'm chaining it up, she's latching the trailer back down. And, yeah, so we've got a little team thing worked out here, but I have on occasions had to do it myself. And then you have to trust the tractor's brakes, you know, up on the, up, up on that steep incline, get off the tractor and, and you know, if your feet are wet or any kind of you know, a little bit of oil or something on the deck of your you know your tractor and you step out it's just a it's just increases the odds of an accident all i'm saying uh it definitely could, it can be managed and you can do it but having the key fob would drastically reduce risk i get a lot of questions also ask where we bought it we bought this trailer at tpd trailer sales they're right up in kentucky real close to murray kentucky and they are an excellent dealer. They're they're really big dealer, there. so they sell all over. Uh, but uh, yeah, they they've done really good by us. So I've said quite a few things that you know might, might be considered cons, but some of the pros are I really like the big toolbox in the front. It's a lockable toolbox. It's uh, got a, it's got a deck that, or a lid that opens up, and you can latch it and and make it stay open. Let's see if I can show you this. This and it's deep. And you can put all your junk in there. Lord knows you work on the homestead, you're going to have some junk. So it does have a nice spare tire carrier. And if you run into a place, you can't do it. Um, well, I guess you can do it. You lower your tailgate down, and then you can remove this bolt up here. And this will actually fold down. So it'll actually fold down like this. And uh, you can drop the spare tire. But I think in my case, I would just probably take the, the nuts off of the top. I don't know if you can see it or not, I'd probably do that. It has two trailer jacks on one on either side and they are, they, the power, when you crank this handle, it runs the, the other one as well. So you don't have to do one and then the other one separately. Again, we'll go back further. And here is the, there's another little toolbox here. This also houses all of your hydraulics. There's a little bit of room in there. There's your, your battery and your hydraulic pump. Uh, we first got it, um, had a little hydraulic leak. One of these lines were just a touch loose, tightened it up and that was, you know, that was just something, when something got missed. But it's, other than that, we've had zero issues. I mean, just absolutely zero issues. All right, what we're gonna do now is, Tanya's going, this is her normal job, so I'm doing the video work. It'll probably suck, but she's going to, unlatch each side of the trailer go ahead so she's the official button pusher of the trailer Ta -da. so it has a fold away rear bumper system that folds up i'll kind of show you what it does thought that was neat Spring load it. All right, so it's hard to really tell here until now you can kind of tell with, with Tanya standing there how steep that is. Uh, if you look at a, a regular car coming up on there, that would be really tough and you would probably drag the bumper. 
I mean, you can do it, you just have to go fast. Now, as far as chaining down, this trailer's got plenty of access to, you got the, the round points where you can roll your chain over and hook the hook on the other side. Uh, you've got stake holders here, uh, and, it, and it goes all the way down to the end of the trailer, so there's plenty of places to, to chain stuff down. That's never an issue. It also has this nice step here. I've seen some of these that don't have a step. That step's a big deal. Uh, so far, we've never hit it or even came close to hitting anything with that. So let's talk a little bit about driving, uh, pulling this trailer. There's things that this trailer does better. Like it, it, it's going to ride, make the truck ride so much better because the weight of the trailer is carried forward of the rear axle. And it, so it's obviously gonna just ride so much better. Night and day difference between a bumper pull. You put, put a bumper pull on and it, it beats the crap out of you and you can't carry as much weight. Now what I mean by that, on a bumper pull, you're limited to how much tongue weight you can pull put on a uh, on a bumper pull. So most m most bumper pulls, let's such give a rough estimate of you can put 500 pounds on that tongue. Well, on a gooseneck, you can transmit the load of your tractor or whatever you're carrying and set it into the bed of the truck, and whatever the weight of the however much you can carry on your truck axle or in your truck bed is what you can transfer up to your truck. So, for example. Uh, I can carry roughly 7,500 pounds, eight, let's see, 8,000, 8,500, okay, 8,500 pounds, on, I'm terrible at math on camera, 8,500 pounds of weight on those two tires back here, and then I could, on my truck, I can carry another uh, 2,000 pounds of weight on, on this right here. So reality is, I could probably safely pull 10,000 pounds with this trailer set up, but it's just one of those things is, you have to like do a lot of calculation and it's totally dependent upon what your truck can your carry and, and then whatever it could carry like i said the the lifting mechanism of this trailer um is heavier so you subtract that from what your rear axles can can actually carry all right and here's the next thing this particular trailer the rear axles are a little bit further to the rear and you can see how far to the and I'm making a left turn right now. It's a very shallow left turn. And you can see how far to the left the uh, rear wheels track. It is, it's, it's something you have to be very cognizant of. There's several roads in our town that we don't go on when I pull the trailer just because if somebody pulls up to the stop or the turning lane on the other side, there's not enough room to make the turn without the rear wheels uh, running up on the curb and maybe hitting somebody or damaging the tires or hit the fire hydrant or something like that. So there's some areas that we just don't go with this trailer because it does track really far to the left uh, and right when you're making turns. So that's something to think about. And I don't know if that's just specifically for this trailer. I know some of their other trailers, the, the wheels in the rear are a little bit further forward uh, and that makes them turn better. If you want to go through town and if you want better uh, tracking, then a bumper pull is always going to be better in that that case because the the trailer wheels are going to follow the track of the truck, whereas a gooseneck is always going to swing left and right. And because these wheels are so far to the rear, again, that makes this one even more pronounced. <laughs>
Nowhere near. So one of the reasons, is it's not a dislike, but it's something you have to do. So we're gonna put this up front and then we're gonna put the tractor on the back. So therefore we have to really strap this down on the front because we have to lift this up in the air and we don't want it sliding back down the trailer. So that's something that a, a regular uh, trailer with a ramp, you could just set it up here and then drive up the ramps and then fold the ramps back up. So that's what I was kind of talking about earlier. Tanya, the gatekeeper of the trailer. Ooh, top. However, you, you could use this to put, pick uh, fruit, the fruit cherries. You gonna come pick some fruit too, buddy? Huh, what about it? I don't know about all this. Metal stick. I guess I'll do this, guys. Yeah. Over how you hook it over that loop, that round thing. Go to one forward. Go to one forward. Let me come do it, and you. Now I got it. On this side, well, got it. I know, but this is a nice feature. It's got the the chain, uh, the chain tube. I call it. So you just run your chain over the top against the load and hook the chain there. And then when you pull it back, because this is round, it doesn't bind up. The toolbox gives you a good place to put all your binders and all that stuff you just gotta have and you don't need it all the time but when you need it it needs to be there that was, i do like the toolbox for that that reason Go. 
There we go. So this is a, a pro for this trailer because the fact is we got the grapple up front, a load, a tractor, and a mulcher on here, and we still have got, I don't know, two two feet at the back of the trailer. It would be really hard to do this with a uh, ramp trailer at 25 feet because you have to be able to fold the ramps up. And so this is a case that this setup is beneficial. Not always like this, but this is the first time we've ever put something this long on here. So I'm talking with my hands. I think if I tied my hands behind my back, I probably couldn't communicate at all. I would just be like, blah, 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 blah. You probably couldn't talk. Couldn't talk. Anybody else out there like that? I put my binder on backwards. Normally I rotate around the other way so it stays pushed down on the, the wood. Uh, but the bomber, the bomber light uh, mulchers been beat up with trees and ain't no paint up here anyway. <laughs> this thing's a beast. Love it. Feel pretty good about it all. So let me pull forward a little bit further and you get a good picture of the truck, trailer, everything in front of here. <laughs> 